chose Big Block Cobra, it's a 20,000 original mile, original interior, no stories Cobra that's gonna be fantastic when it hits the block. Well, Carol Shelby went with the Big Block Cobra uh, because the 289 was maxed out racing the Corvette and the other competition cars, so he felt like they needed a bigger motor to be able to be competitive with them. If you compare the difference between a big block and a regular Cobra 289, it's like night and day. A big block has coil springs, it's wider, it's longer, it rides just like a new car today. It's unbelievably how smooth it is. The history is beautifully squeaky clean. Uh, it's an original white car. They only made 9% of them white. Stripe delete, there's no stripes on it. Has the original leather upholstery still in the seats. It's a 20,000 mile original car. And it just represents what Mr. Shelby wanted and put in the market in 67. So that was a unique opportunity to acquire that car. And uh, it, it is a ball to drive. I've been able to enjoy them over the last 10 years, and I think it's some, sometimes it's better to give somebody else the opportunity to enjoy them too. Like the Big Block Cobra, uh, they only made 350 of them. So it's time for somebody else to enjoy the thrill of that car. And um, you're not gonna do it if somebody just stuck, sticks it in the back of their garage or their collection and they never turn them loose. It's almost like your kids getting married. You're sad to see them go, but you're opening up another chapter in your life and you're happy for them. And I'll, I'll be happy for the new owners. Hopefully I'll be happy for the cars that found new owners that are really good owners that will, you know, basically do what I have. And I really think the car collector uh, business in, in principle, which is we don't really own the cars, we're just the caretakers. And we take care of them for a while and then we pass them on. And to me, that's what I think will, will, will make me the most happy.